Hey, sneak that's back tonight. Tonight, we've got the latest version of Crunch Bang. Yes, Crunch Bang is back in the house. It's the latest upload I've done about two, three, four, maybe five days ago. And I thought I'll give it a check it out and see where we're going from, how it's going, etc. Now, that's a bit of annoying up there when it says connection established, but I, I can live with that. I'm just checking it out. Now, all I can say is a lot more stable and has not crashed on me or crunched me or banged me. Literally. So yeah, that's okay. So I'm going to the web browser. Now, my apologies first. We have some games consoles running upstairs in the house and my net connection is slow again tonight. So I'm just going to go to the home page. As you can see, it's loading really slow because they're using all my bleeding bandwidth. That's why I don't normally do them this time. Because they're still awake, the old kiddies. But yeah, anyway, as you can see, it's the latest one. Nice, lovely. I like it. Now, it's still black. And it's always going to be black whether you like it or not. But on accessories, we get some plentiful stuff there. Thuna for your file manager. This is the open box version, by the way. You get Gimpy as standard. I like that when I do that. I really do. Because you do need some apps in some distros. Some come with nothing. I know you like if you want to build your own distro, it's different, but hey. XF Burn, by the way. Have you ever seen that? I like XF Burn. What XF Burn? Now it says no burns are currently in use. That's because I'm using the virtual box to do this at the moment. I have tried it on real hardware, by the way, and it does run really nice. But it couldn't cope with running uh, <clears throat> a recorder, so we say. Then again, it was a single core old machine, so no worries. You get transmission and Hey Buddy. Now they've gone over to Hey Buddy for their uh, chatty thing, for uh, you know that sort of thing. So yeah, you do put your name and account word and stuff like that in. All done, super duper. It does work, I have tried it. So yeah, that's pretty good too. <clears throat> so I'm going to Office. Open Office, you, there is an install Open Office section. Do remember it's over 100 meg downloads, that's quite a lot. So you get Abbey Word and Genomeric, which should do you, really, if you don't do no office work. So, you know, that's super duper. And you get these little things that come up in the, in the right hand side. You may be gone tomorrow, but that doesn't mean that you weren't here today. Abbey Word, it's 2.8.2, .2, so that'll do for me. It's not the most current, but that'll do. Enough said. Okay, places, get all your places as you would do. Did I say it was open box? I didn't know. And you can install Dropbox as well, which I really like because I've started using it quite a bit now. Now, in settings, you get loads of stuff in settings. Now, we're going to change different wallpaper, but it's still going to be black with maybe a little white on it. But that's alright, I can live with that. Now, it is super fast, and now it's Debian based which is good and bad in some respects. When it was Bungie based, you got a lot more stuff that was easier to do. If you're not used to Debian, it is easy really, just put your mind to it and it will do the job. You get your shortcut keys as usual. Now I really like them, you don't have to use a mouse all the time. So that's nice. And yes, we do have this on a machine in the house. Now, silly me, when I installed it, because this is actually installed, I didn't enable me swap. What a wally, even though I partitioned the disk for it. But a full install is only 2.25. Now, the installer on this is fantastic. It's really, really good. What a great improvement. I must say, enormous improvement. And once you've installed, it will guide you through installing other stuff as well. So if you want to update your stuff, it'll do it automatically without you doing anything in the uh, terminal, shall we say. So anyway, that's enough of that. We'll get to the BBC homepage, how that comes out. Because I've been going to the tube for a while now. So yeah, nice look, lovely. It's Google Chrome. Mm, okay, good choice for some people, good choice for not me, maybe. I'm not particularly fond of it, but hey, it's here, use it. You know what I mean? Or you can always replace it with something you really like. So yeah, that's all nice. Comes up, works all right, doesn't it? I didn't check if Flash was installed there, but I would imagine it would be, so you'd be able to watch the iPlayer and stuff like that, and YouTube videos, etc. You can set up your printers. Synaptic is here already so just put in your password because this is installed system by the way remember Not installed we might snap it to do its bits and bobs and we wait and we wait and we wait and there we are okay so i'm going to search for something okay what should we search for today in synaptic package manager oh, i don't know xwms it's a lot like, a little music player a lot of you know it if you use small distros because it's really small but you can have audacious or you can have rhythm box you can have whatever you like and there's no reason you can't put anything you want on it it's it isn't a build yourself distro but it's a minimal distro we're going to call this so there it is xwms2 that's here i know i've used it lots of times before it does run really nice the sound quality is okay you know all right as long as you've got decent drivers for your sound card obviously you know what i'm saying of course you do now on the whole 
although this is not a really extensive video, I really like Crunch Bang, and I always have, and I've always done videos on it. I'm going to open Gimpy up. Now, Gimpy, for the first time, is slow, but this is the second time we've done it, and it's quite quick, actually. It's really nice. To, so we're waiting. I said it was quite quick. Well, quicker than it used to be. Oh, there it is. Look. Comes up. Everything's there in Gimpy. Being Debian, you can do lots and lots of stuff with it, and add all the extras that you want to. So, hey, I really like it. Sneaky Living is going to give this four out of five. I'm gone. See you later, by the way.